Connecticut's Department of Transportation said the fleet at the Fairfield CAD company is in deplorable condition. It is for that reason that the company either has to be sold in a few weeks or it might just shut down. Even with an abhorred Department of Transportation report, what can't be overlooked at the Fairfield Cab Company is that some are staring at unemployment. What do you think about all this? I've lost my job. Right. Scary time to be losing a job. I would think so. It was last year when the DOT performed an inspection of six cars in the fleet. All six failed. A month later, serious repairs still were not made on two cars. In addition, two cab drivers have been arrested. One was Bruce Northrup for sexual assault in his cab. In business since 1976, we wanted to know what happened to send the company, owned by Arthur and Margaret Castellucci, down this road. You're an employee here. We're just trying to get reaction. I mean, my reaction is I'm in the witness protection program and I don't want to be on your TV show. We pressed for more information. How would we find the Castellucci's, do you know? Uh, you probably have a better chance of doing that than I do. Okay. Do they live in Fairfield? No. Okay. Do you know where they live? Yeah. Can you tell me? No. The family has until February 29th to sell the business. Um, look, I have no comment, man. Okay. Employees didn't want to talk, so we tracked down the owner and his Trumbull home. Do you have a potential buyer, or do you know what's happening? I don't know what's happening right now, sir. So. Okay. Any comment about the DOT report? Do you think it's fair? We'll have, we'll, have a, we'll have a story. A story employees must be waiting for to see if they will continue to have a job. We did speak with Fairfield's Parking Authority. They said that there are potentially a few potential buyers for the Fairfield CAD company. We'll keep you updated. On the scene in Fairfield, I'm Jamie Muro News 8.